These days, we understand a lot about human behavior. For example, our eyes are naturally drawn to motion. If something is moving while everything around it stays the same, we're naturally drawn to the thing that's moving. This is a powerful tool in UI design, really useful for directing your user's attention to an important or immediately relevant UI element. But that's just the beginning. We saw in lesson two that shadows can tell you a lot about a surface. Well, how that surface moves can actually tell you a whole lot about it as well. More specifically, an object's motion can provide important cues about how you could interact with it. Let's take a look. Take a look at this example of tabs. Okay, now take a look at this one. Can you tell the difference? Here they are side by side. In both cases, pressing on the tab at the top changes to that tab. But in the second example, a little slide animation is used to switch tabs. This subtle animation helps communicate that you can actually swipe the tabs to switch between them. We call this instructive motion. Without this kind of instructive motion, it would be less likely that users would discover this behavior, as the spatial relationship between pages would be less clear. In this example, as the music player controls move into view, notice how the volume control slides into place. This animation provides a subtle cue that the user can move the slider horizontally along the track. And remember in lesson two how we talked about the elevations of surfaces and how they could imply what happens upon scrolling? Well, changes in elevation could help communicate changes in interaction. When two surfaces are adjacent, like here, at the same elevation, they might move together. But at some point, one surface might change its elevation to communicate that it now moves independently of the other one. The way that content enters the scene can also imply ways to interact with it. In this example, the bottom sheet enters from the bottom of the screen, implying that it can be dragged upward or dismissed by dragging it back downward. In all these examples of instructive motion, you can see that how something moves can give you plenty of hints about how you could interact with it.